bring it. Hello again, ladies and gentlemen. I am your host, Stephen Schuler, and welcome to another episode of Zombie Apocalypse Survival Tips. This is the show where we go over the various tips, tricks, and techniques that you can use to survive longer during a zombie outbreak. Today's episode, I thought I'd talk to you about one thing you really need when you go on the run. The one thing you really need is other people. You need to travel in a group. Now, a lot of people will give me a hard time saying why. I mean, if you travel in a group, then if something happens to them, you then have to deal with the sorrow and the depression of somebody dying. Well, that's very true. Everything has an upside and a downside, but if you travel with other people, that means you have people there to kind of keep the slack up for you. They are there to carry some of the extra weight. They are there to help watch your back. They are there to help monitor your mental stability, because believe it or not, one of the biggest killers during a zombie outbreak will be your mental state, but we'll get into that in another episode. Now, before you just grab some random person off the street, remember what I talked about in a previous episode. They need to be reliable, dependable, and trustworthy. And I know it's going to be difficult to find someone with all three characteristics, but you need to find somebody to travel with. When you travel in groups, it makes things a whole lot easier to go after supplies because then you have someone to gather up while other people stand guard. You can go into areas and clear rooms a lot easier. You have multiple people to set up different lines of sight. You can have someone standing watch to make sure no one flanks you from behind. It's always better to travel in a group. Now, like people will say, there is a problem with this, yes. Sometimes you have to deal with the fact that Every once in a while, somebody may die, and then you have to deal with the tragedy of their death. Like I said, everything does come with a downside. It's what happens during a zombie outbreak. So when you're actually picking out people to travel with, picking out the members of your group, there are characteristics you need to look out for. One, you need to find people who are good at survival. They know the area, they know the land, they know where to find food, they know where to find water, and they know where to look for shelter. You also need the person who is good when it comes to medical stuff. I'm not necessarily saying you need a nurse practitioner or a doctor, but you need someone who understands medicine. You need someone who can perform first aid. I mean, anything from putting on a band-aid to antibiotics or administering medicine. Because I hate to say it, in this day and age, not everyone knows what to do in that situation. If someone gets sick, not everyone knows how to deal with it. So you need someone who actually knows how to do that. You also need kind of the quote-unquote guardian character. You need the person who they focus on protecting everyone. They focus on making sure everyone is safe. They are going to be a little bit paranoid. But I hate to say it, but paranoia can save your life. I mean, don't get me wrong, paranoia can sometimes be an issue, but it's better to check behind a thousand bushes that you see shaking and it turns out it's just the wind than to miss the one bush that's shaking because there's someone behind it. And above all, you need the survivor. Okay? This may not necessarily be someone who knows how to survive out in the wilds, but they are someone that no matter what, they have a tendency to push on. They can survive through just about anything because they are determined to get through it. You can shoot them in the leg and they will still find a way to keep running. They are a survivor and they will push on through anything. Now, as to recap, you need to travel with people. And like I said, there are people you want to take with you and people you want to avoid, but we'll go more into specifics of that in a later episode. But just remember, travel in groups. Things are a lot easier when you travel in groups. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for today. But before I let you go, I wanted to go ahead and issue a YouTube challenge. I know I don't really have that many viewers, and a YouTube challenge at this point is not going to be that big a deal. So I'm going to keep it simple. Watch this episode. This is a previous episode where I talk about making body armor out of random household objects. Now, granted, I go with a more specific route with the magazine route, but you can do whatever you want. As long as you have chest protection, forearm protection, and something protecting your neck, take a picture of yourself and send it to this email, felixredfield at gmail.com. I'll also put it in the description. And what I'm going to do is I will take the three best... I know best is a relative term, but I'm going to have people outside to kind of help me figure out which ones are good and which ones are not so good. The three winners will get their pictures put in next week's episode. So the due date is going to be, well, I would say Thursday at midnight, but since I have a tendency to not put these episodes up till around midnight on Friday, I'll go ahead and make the due date for them next Friday at around noon, 12 o'clock Eastern Time, because that's my time zone. 12 o'clock Eastern Time on next Friday is the due date. If you have a website or a channel or something that you would like for me to give a shout out to when you send it in, send that in the email with the photo. The so next week's episode, when I post your armor, I will put the link in the description saying photo one this, photo two this, photo three this. So, 
have at it. I'm looking forward to seeing what kind of armor you guys are willing to create. Now, if no one actually submits, then I will just start the next episode crying because no one accepted my challenge. Here. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for today. I'm Steven Schuler, and this has been another episode of Zombie Apocalypse Survival Tips. Always remember, have a goal, have a plan, and have a way out in case things go wrong. I'll see you later. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Steven Schuler, and welcome to another one of my video blogs. Uh, today I decided I'd be a little bit lazy and do a little selfie blog when I start talking about this stuff. In the films, Peter Jackson makes every one of these dwarves a character, even adds little side stories for each one of these characters to increase their personality.